Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, guys? I am fine, thank you. All right, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio. Okay, good. Uh, I am uh, a little sick right now. Uh, I can hear your voice, okay? But yeah, but it's stable. <laughs> Nice. Stable, yes. Oh, nice. Yes, no problem. Nothing, nothing too serious. Nothing too serious. Uh, a little flu, oh, not okay. only. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. I think it's because of the changes of the weather, right? You know that sometimes goes. Yeah, I I think uh, yesterday I slept with the open window in my room, ah. and yeah. it is very it was it, it was very cold. Yes, yes, yes. It's nice here from my house. So, and today, and today is kind of hot. You know, it's kind of yeah, it's humid. Kind of hot. Okay, good. All right, Jessica, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was the weekend? Oh, okay, the last weekend was very bad because I was sick. Ah, okay, so then you didn't have much time to to relax. Yes. Okay. I so have that's... a a bit rest. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping all day. Yeah. Mm. All Sunday. All Sunday. Okay. Good. Perfect. But you're better now. Yes. Okay. I'm fine. Good. All right. Good. And then we have Jaime. How are you, Jaime? Hi. Goodbye. How's everything? How you, Mister Teacher? Good. No problem. How are you? All right, excellent. Okay. Ready to start another class. Hey, Gio. Hey, teacher. Long time no see. Like, yeah. three, day, like three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. I, I've had troubles with the electrical lines in my house. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But everything is okay now. Yeah. Okay. Everything's okay now. Yes, there have been a lot of problems like that, right? With, uh, internet connections, uh, electricity problems, cables down. So it's been yeah. a mess this, uh, this last week, this last two weeks. Yeah. Okay, good. Eric, Eric is back. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's it going? All right, great. Great. Excellent. Good okay. to know. Good, 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 good. So let's, uh, let's get started then while the others show up. Let's see what we had last uh, week. Where? Okay, so we have, oh, wow, we have storytelling today. Okay, remember the last topic that we saw last Thursday, it was about yeah, past continuous okay. and yes. simple past. I better show you the the presentation that we had, right? Yes, this one, right? Remember that we were talking about the. Uh, Yes, can you see the, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 I, can I can see it. Perfect. So this, this is where we stopped last uh, Saturday, uh, last Thursday, uh, when we were talking about past progressive and simple past, when the actions, you know, past progressive. Then we have simple past and past progressive. Simple past tense and simple past tense, the two Actions happen and finish at the, at the, in the past, right? The police came when the accident happened. So, you know, like simultaneously in the past. And these two were in progress, right? They were talking what they were driving. So this is like when we can do two things at the same time, right? There are some things that can be done simultaneously, right? And that we can say, for example, that you can be uh, probably listening and looking at something, right? 
but then uh, we can be listening and probably paying attention, okay? So we can be listening and probably taking notes, okay? So while I was listening to the doctor, uh, I was listening to the doctor while I was taking notes, okay? Probably, you know, writing down what the instructions he was giving me, okay? So here we have, yes, no? Okay, then uh, Gio, can you please read the grammar explanation number one here and then the examples. Use the past progressive with the simple past tense to talk about an action that was interrupted by another action. Use the simple past tense for the interrupted action. Um, past was crossing, hanged now, and future. Use when to introduce the simple past tense action or use while to introduce the past progress progressive action. Examples. I was crossing the street when the driver honked his horn. They were driving too fast when they crashed he was speeding when they when the light turned red while he was speeding the light turned red okay so the important thing here to see talk about an action that was interrupted by another right this is what i was doing when the second action happened okay this is what i was doing when the light turned on and while I was doing this, the, car, the light went on. See, for example, that uh, you can swap, right? You can switch the two sentences. And uh, the meaning is the same, but we use instead of when, here we use while, because it's present, uh, past progressive. While he was speeding, the light turned red. Okay, while he was sleeping, the telephone ran. While he was having lunch, uh, the, the light turned on. Okay, or the light turned off. The TV turned on. The, tur the TV turned off, okay? Or uh, while he was having lunch, his boss called him. Okay, that's one. Sergio, can you please read here the, just the introduction here and then the example? Okay. Two, be careful. Notice that the difference in meaning between these two different sentences. When the light changed, I crossed the street. First, the light changed. Then, I crossed the street. When the light changed, I was crossing the street. First, I was crossing the street, then the light changed. Okay, so this is the difference in meaning, right? When the light changed, I crossed the street. This is the, the normal thing, right? That you are waiting, and then when the light changed or changes, then we cross, correct? Correct. Say, but when we say, for example, when the light changed, I was crossing the street. So that means that uh, I was in the middle of the street, probably when the light changed, right? So then there is a little difference, right? When you use this, okay? For example, it's like when, uh, when you say when the light changed, I was uh, speeding the car, right? So then I was going very fast, but I was already in the middle of the action. So the difference is, Ali said, the first I was crossing the street, then the light changed. And then here you waited for the light to change and then you crossed. Okay, now we have Adriana. Can you please read this one? Number three. Yes. Use the past progressive with why to talk about two actions in progress at the same time in past. Use the past progressive in both clauses. 
Lynn was talking on the phone while he was driving. They weren't paying attention while they were crossing the street. Okay. Then here we have, what? Two options in progress at the same time. I was talking to phone while I was driving. This is very common to see now, right? That sometimes we do it, but we shouldn't, right? We shouldn't do it. Not everybody, but okay, you know, many people, many people do it. They weren't paying attention while they were crossing the street. Okay, so this is another thing that, you know, that can happen, right? To be absent-minded, okay? To be distracted, they weren't paying attention. And we have another one here. Okay, Eric, can you please read this one? Of course. Four, right? Yep. The time plows the part of the sentence beginning with when or while can command at the beginning or the end of the sentence. The meaning is the same. Use a comma after the time clause when it comes at beginning of the sentence. Examples, when you call, I was leaving. I was leaving when you call. While he was driving, he was talking. He was talking while he was driving. Okay, very good. Here you can see that just uh, the difference uh, is the comma, right? When we begin with the WH, or at the beginning, when you call comma, you separate the two sentences within the comma. And when you begin with the action without WH word, I was leaving, there is no comma, and then when you call. So just the difference between when you write it or when you also, when we speak, we make, uh, we have to make a short call, right? When you call, I was leaving. So I was leaving when you call. To, so you don't to, make, a, to make an emphasis in the no. action that we are doing. No, no, no. 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 Uh, probably yes. That would be, that would depend, but that would depend, I mean, depends on the, uh, let's say it on your situation that we have uh -huh. no. in, in your connotation. Okay, no. okay. When you call. I was leaving. Okay, okay. For example, you can say, uh, uh, and they say, I was leaving when you call. So, well, I, I was leaving when you call. Okay, I mean, you can emphasize in both, but that would be your intention. Okay, but that's okay. In, the, in the tone, in the intonation. Not okay, in, okay. Not, not in the writing, not in the writing. Okay. okay. But for the writing, just remember the comma. That's very important. Okay, anybody? Everybody questions? No questions in this moment? No question. Ready for, no. The, ready for the exam? No, no question. Okay. Ready for the exam. Of course. <laughs> of course. Okay, good. Now we're going to, okay, now uh, what you need to, uh, we're going to do is to practice, right? Using the... Uh, Questions, for example, uh, okay, questions like okay, no, no, sorry, it's not, it's not a question. We're gonna use. This one, the sentences, right? For example, uh, things that you were doing during the weekend when something else happened or things that, you know, you were doing simultaneously, okay, this weekend. So sentences about the weekend. Who wants to share some? Just give me an example. One example, please, somebody. I was okay. cooking uh -huh. while I was listening music. Okay, I was cooking while I was listening to music. Okay, so I was listening to music. Then I can say Adriana. Okay, Adriana yes. was Adriana was cooking while she was listening music, or she was listening music while she was cooking. 
Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to tell sentences to your partners, okay, and then uh, after your partner is going to tell what you did or what you were doing during the week, okay? So I'm going to give you five minutes to work in groups. Then you come back and then you will have to tell me what you were doing, okay? Let me see hey, many people, so I'm going to make seven groups, okay? Here we go. Five minutes only. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. I will, I will uh, they are working in groups at this moment. So I will send you to you group in this moment, okay? You cannot get the information. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Teacher is correct. I was painting the door while the earthquake was shaking. While it was, while, uh, while it was shaking only. You don't have to say earthquake. Uh -huh. well, shaking. It, uh, while 
it was shaking it was shaking and stuff you know uh, oh well or oh, when the earthquake happened that's another one that you can do. happened uh -huh. mm -hmm. i was painting the wall when the when the what when the earthquake, the earthquake happened uh -huh. because in this case happened. before you were painting and then the earthquake interrupted that action mm, okay, okay. Okay, so then you were not doing it at the same time because probably you stopped. Or you say when when it started, when the earthquake is that, I stopped. Or well, what did you do? Mm -hmm. Erica? No, what, what did you do? What did you do? Uh -huh. Painting the door. No, when and when the earthquake started, what did, uh, what did you do? She was painting. Mm. She was painting the door. Uh huh. You stopped. No, but after that, when you feel when you felt the earth, you stop. No, so you continue painting. Mm. <laughs> I scared. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, and it stopped. Right, it stopped painting. You stop. No, okay. you, you, con you continue painting. Maybe. <laughs> huh? Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's Okay, then you would say, for example, while I was, you know, while, what it, while it was shaking, or it was, I was painting. You didn't, you didn't, you were not, a, you were not a scared, right? So, <laughs> okay, now keep on practicing, and we'll be returning in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, um, he was playing video games. Hey teacher. Hello, Ronnie. I'm back. Hi, how are you? Where were you? I'm in the group with Eric and... You returned. Yes. Okay, but hi, Roberto, see you too. <coughs> hey, Roberto, where were you? Long time to see. Okay, good. Okay, now uh, let's see. We had in the group number one, we had a. Uh, What's in the group number one? Okay, Erica, Jessica, and Jose Armando. Okay, now tell me one or two sentences about the things that you were talking, right? For example, Erica, you can tell me about Jessica, and Jessica, you can tell me about. Okay. Another. Okay. Jessica? Mm -hmm. About Erica. Uh -huh. He was painting the door while the earthquake um, was shaking. Okay. She was painting the room while the earthquake was shaking, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so at the same time. Good. Okay, uh, 
Erika, tell me one sentence about Jessica or Jorge. Okay. Uh, Jessica was buying a soda. Why was calling her brother? <laughs> well, she was cleaning. Or carrying. Calling, calling, call. ah, calling, calling her brother. Calling. Yes. Okay, good. Two options at the same time, okay? Buying a soda and calling. You know, that's very typical in women, can do like three or four things at the same time. Uh, multitask. Good, Jose Armando. Okay, Jose Armando. Okay, Jose Armando, tell me about Jessica or Erica. Hello. Uh, okay, what's <laughs> mood? Yes. Ah, uh, she was telling about the sentence. She was painting the door while was shaking. While it That's, was shaking. Uh -huh. You say yeah, the same sentence, but in a different way. She was yeah. painting the door while it was shaking. Very good. Excellent. Okay, nice. Okay, the next group was Jorge Luis, then it was Kevin and Marvin. Okay, guys, one sentence each. Let's begin with Jorge. Your church. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no. I'm, I'm talking about the Kevin. Kevin, okay. Uh, Kevin says he was uh, eating when the rain is started. Okay, he was eating when the rain started. When the rain started. Good. Okay, Kevin. No, it is, it is Marvin and uh, yeah, oh. Kevin. That yeah, right. sorry, I was yeah. mute. <laughs> okay, uh, I was eating when she called. I was eating when she called. Okay, now called. about about your friends, about Jorge Luis or, or Marvin. Okay, uh, Jorge Luis was studying when. Uh, the meeting starts. It started when the meeting started. started. Okay, very good. Okay, Marvin. Marvin, can you tell me about Kevin or Jorge? No. Marvin, can you hear me? No. Okay, let's see the next one. The next group is Eric, Carla, and Ronnie. One sentence each. Let's start with Eric. Okay. Okay, teacher. I'm talking about what uh, Carla says. So, so he, he, he said he she was says. working when... She said. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. She was working when she got sick. Okay, she was working when she got sick. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, Carla? I can't remember the sentence. Okay. Oh my classmates, sorry. <laughs> then, then, then say one about you. I so, was not paying attention. Oh, I was, I was working when I got sick. <laughs> I was working when I was sick, okay? I was not listening to my partners when they were speaking. Okay, well, I can well, remember well. all the conversation, but I'm not the sentence. Okay, good. Ah, all right, that's better. Okay, good. Then, uh, Ronnie. Oh, um, I was uh, writing when my classmate tell the examples. <laughs> well, I can. Huh? I, I was writing when my classmate saying their examples. I was writing while my while. classmates were giving their examples. Uh, giving. Okay. Uh, giving. Giving. Uh, giving. Okay. Giving. Giving their examples. Yes. Okay. 
next. Okay, good. Then uh, what else? Uh, the next one is Adriana and Beatriz and Sergio. Okay. Okay, Sergio. Uh, Beatriz uh, was cooking uh, while she was watching TV. While she was watching. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And Adriana, uh, she was, uh, we were seeing the uh, soap opera mm -hmm. while she was uh, taking breakfast. All right, very good, excellent. She was taking, when I was taking my breakfast, she was taking her She breakfast. was taking her breakfast, breakfast, yes. Breakfast, okay, good. All right, Erica, you want to say something? Yeah, I have a question. Uh huh. What uh, sentence is this correct? He he was cooking when the gas was done. No, the he was cooking when the gas. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, when uh, when he ran out of gas, when he ran out of gas, or when the gas, uh, let's say, uh, what else expired. Okay, or when the gas over. was over, uh, was over. Was over. over. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Empty. Uh -huh, when, when the gas tank emptied. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So who was the other one? Adriana? No, it was, yes, Adriana or Beatriz. Okay. I'm going to talk about Sergio. Okay. Sergio, Sergio was studying English while he was listening music. Okay, very good. And who's the next one, Adriana? Uh, no, Beatriz. No, Beatriz now, yes. Okay. Adriana was watching a soap opera while she was eating breakfast. While she was eating or having breakfast, very good. Okay, the next one, Jaime, Jorge, and Roberto. Okay, Jaime. Okay, Jaime, go. Uh, I was checking in the car when Jorge Lemus called me. When Jorge Lemus called me. Okay. Called me, yes. Okay, good. He interrupted your work. Okay, good. Yes. All right, Roberto. Uh, Jorge was ordering his basement while raining a lot. While it was raining a lot. While it was raining a lot. Thank right. you. Okay. George okay. Lemus. Roberto was sleeping when the neighbor made a lot of noise. <laughs> that's very <laughs> that's very frequent, right? I mean it's very frequent yeah. in neighborhoods. Okay, good. The next one is Cecibel. Okay, Cecibel, eh, Guadalupe Lucha, eh, Guadalupe and Julio. Okay, I can start. Yes, please. Okay, um, Cecibel was doing her homework while some friend was chatting uh, to her. Well, while some friends, or while one or, or more? One friend or more? One friend. Okay while a friend was chatting, right? With her. Okay. Was chatting to her. Very good. Okay. Next, okay. Cecibel um, or Julio? Okay. I, uh, Guadalupe was exercising while she was listening to music. Okay, Guadalupe was exercising while she was listening to music, to her favorite music. Okay, good. Julio. I was watching my cell phone when my teacher was saying the instruction. Was given the instructions. Given. Uh, given giving, the, giving the instructions. The instruction. Okay, good. Uh, then Gio, Xiomara, and Jesse. Okay, good. Okay. Um, uh, Xiomara 
was watching TV while she was on the phone. Okay. What? I was listening when Gio and Jesse discussed the topic. Well, okay, very good. Discuss. Discuss the topic. The topic. Good. <laughs> Jesse. Uh, Xiomara uh, was cooking. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Xiomara uh, was in meeting uh, when uh, she broke uh, the glass. Okay, well, uh, Xiomara was in a meeting when she broke the glass. Broke the broke glass. The glass, okay. So in this case, it's the two options in past tense, right? No problem, it's good. Okay, she was in a meeting, okay, but it's a, the verb to be. Okay, very good. Excellent people, right? So then, uh, any questions so far? Okay. Just we need... No questions. A lot for clear. Yes. Ooh, Beatrice, yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, I had no. a question, teacher. Is it is correct if I say you were you were driving while the accident happened? Uh, it's better if you say when. Uh, okay. okay, you were driving when the accident happened. Okay. Are we going to use the instruction that you uh, show in, in, in a chart? Yeah, because it's an, uh, the different tense. Yes, I think it's better that one. I, there is one exercise, I guess, in the platform, right? Yes. That use while. Uh -huh. But uh, the best option to use is when. People will understand, but you know, the, it's like, for example, if I, uh, when people say, if I was you, if I was you, uh, people understand, but in English is if I were you. I mean, the, the correct form, grammatically, right? Si yo fuera usted. Then uh, that's why in this case is similar, right? It's better when you use when with the simple past. I saw an exercise in the, uh, on the platform and I think there is, a, there is something there. But we will see when we see the, the knowledge check. Okay. I can but, use why before, or, 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 excuse me, I can use why at uh, the beginning of the sentence? Yes, but with the, the middle. In both, in both uh, positions, but remember that when you use while at uh, the beginning of the sentence, you're going to use the past progressive, right? While you okay. were driving, while you were driving, the accident happened. And you're going to use the comma. Okay. Okay. While you were driving, or while I was driving, comma, the accident happened. Okay. In the same situation happened when I use when at the beginning of the sentence. I had to use comma. Exactly right. When the accident happened, comma, I was driving. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Sure. Yep. Yes, sir. How, how do you say? Anecdota in English. An anecdote. Anecdote. Okay. Anecdote. Okay. It's an anecdote. Okay, good. Then uh, what else do we have? Do we have a storytelling. I think this, this is the exercise, I guess, right? Well, let's do this exercise here. Before we do the storytelling for you to have an idea. Okay. What is in the first one here? Instructions, complete the sentences, use the verbs in brackets using the correct tense. Then we have my brother was snowboarding. Was snowboarding. When? When he broke. He broke. He broke. He's lame. Yeah. Like that? Yes. In this case, uh, broken or broke? Simple broke. past. 
Broke. Broke. Huh? Simple past. Broke. Okay. Next one. Several so, years ago. I was having. having I was having. I was so, having problems with math. So, so I found. I found. I found. I found. Okay. How about this one? The couple. The couple had. They Sorry. The couple had their first child when they were living in a very permanent. Had and were living. Had mm -hmm. were living. Their first where when they were living. I think this is the example I saw when they were living. For example, this is this is tiny, not tidy. Tiny, yeah. It should be tiny here. And this is when they were Live. when they lived. Living. They lived. Yes. When they lived or when they were living? They were, were living. living. Were living. They were, were, were living. Were living. Were living. Okay. And then while I was driving. I was driving. While I was driving. A few years ago, I realized. 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 I was, I was on the right. wrong side of the road. Okay, that happened to me. Next one, number five. All right, was, was, was cooking. Was reading. Was reading. Was reading. But someone told her then. Was reading a good book. But someone told. Told her the ending. Told her the ending. Spoiler. Next. While my mother was cooking, was cooking, was cooking. The phone rang. The phone was cooking. The last night the phone rang. Rang. Tracy and Eric. Uh -huh. Tracy? Tracy and Eric. Ned was meeting. When was they meeting. Eric was meeting when they were, were cooking. Look, there is a there is a mistake here, right? Yeah. Met. Yes. Met. Met. Uh -huh, it's met. Mm, uh -huh, because it's Tracy and Eric, uh -huh, it we're should be meeting. we're meeting, right? Yeah. But yeah. here we have to use we're cooking, maybe. Why not if was wearing meet was meeting teacher? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. so Eric. Ah, because it's, it's two people. Learn to learn. So the Tracy correct in Eric is they. They. So the correct form is where. where? Was is for a singular. Uh huh. Was is for only one person. Okay. Uh huh. So I think that's. What if so let's, I, let's leave it like that and after we check with Matt, the answers, right? Say Matt and Matt, then cooking. Uh -huh, Matt, exactly. Matt and we're Matt cooking. And then we're and cooking. Matt cooking. And here yeah. it says work. work. Yeah, but they say yeah. cooking. They were cooking. <laughs> That's the <laughs> their work. <laughs> okay, Matt, 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 Matt and we're cooking. And we're yeah. Cooking. Okay. Matt. This is a mess here. It's a, okay, but anyways. Okay, Tracy and Eric, Matt. When they were in one. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, these are the ones. Okay, correct. But, uh, okay, here. But this one, remember that. While they're, okay, when they worked. It should be here, for example. When they worked at the same restaurant. Okay. For me, it would yeah, be better like, uh -huh, in the, let's say, Tracing Eric met when they work at the same at restaurant. The same restaurant. In this, for me, yes, it would because, be uh, fast and fast, okay? Yeah. But, uh, when you say Tracing Eric met, that does not make sense. Tracing Eric met, uh -huh. Yeah. that yeah. isn't, okay. yeah, no, yes, yes. Yeah. no, yes, no, yes, this makes sense. 
crazy and yeah, like met makes to... sense, no problem. Yeah. Okay, met okay. when they, for me, for me, it says while there, or oh, when they, for me, it would be better if they use when they work. I think that's what they wanted to do. But then they made a mistake in the answers. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. they wanted to use simple past because you don't see work in the, yeah, yeah. In the answer. Yes, okay. 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 So then according to this, here it, would, it should be while while they were cooking. Why? In yeah. huh? For me, that would be the correct form. And what other? This one is okay, right? And this one also okay. Yes, that was the that was the one that I had seen. But be careful with this when you do this this exercise, right? Because you will find this. There uh, and there are some little mistake. spelling uh -huh. mistakes, uh -huh. but that question it seven is incorrect. Yes, this is the correct form. I mean, this according to the exercise. The question, yes, yes. Uh -huh. According to this, this is the correct. Matt and we're cooking. Okay. Teacher, All right. Yes. What, what about the first one? Is like uh, the this uh, in the last sentence. I don't know why was using was. Uh -huh. My brother, no, my, uh -huh. my brother was a snowboarding when he broke. No, this is, this is good. It's not correct. The, sec the second one, for example, work, skateboard, worker. It's Where? The, no, this the one, number second. one. Yes. Uh, number two. No, with, with the last. The, the, the last one. The seven. No, but I mean, the number one with the number seven. Yes, it's no. like, for, for example, no, no, it, no this I, is different. I think I. No, I mean, this is correct because you say, my brother was snowboarding, okay? He was snowboarding, doing the activity. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. when he broke his leg in several places, right? When then uh, probably he had an accident or he fell, uh -huh. and then he broke his. So it's not correct using a snowboard there. I don't know. I mean, if you say this one, when he broke, yeah, it could be also, yes, it could be using past and past. Past and past, uh -huh. past and past, I, I, I think. But then remember that here, uh, then you will use, for example, his uh, snowboarder when he broke. So then uh, that would be like... Uh, when changed. Exactly the in the moment. No, exactly the moment that when he did that, the other thing happened. It's too immediate, the change. Okay, mm -hmm. it's too immediate, yes. the change. It's like, for example, when the light changed, I walked. Okay, in that case it's different. But in this case, when you say yes. I was... I was doing something when I had an accident. So it's more, uh, let's say in this case, it's better if you use the progressive. Uh, was, you said yes. was, oh, okay. Because you know, this is okay. something that he was performing, he was doing something, okay? And then this action was interrupted by this one. And the other one. Mm -hmm. the other one. Okay. So that's uh, okay. That Thank makes it no, but in this one it's very different, yes. Okay, good. Then let's see. And here we have in this class you will learn some useful, some useful adverbs. adverbs for telling, for telling stories. stories. Okay. Listen to this because this is the continuation. We're going to continue practicing this. This time we'll talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, lastly, teacher, could you improve the sound, please? Strangely, sorry. Let me check. Hi, this is
talk about some adverbs which are you often know? used in storytelling or okay. something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. which are often used in storytelling to emphasize talk about some adverbs which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally. Okay, coincidentally is what? It's probably something that is neutral, right? Neutral. Yes. Fortunately. It's positive. Positive, positive right? Luckily, positive. positive too. Uh -huh. Miraculously, yes. positive. positive. Sadly, negative. negative. Strange, strangely, neutral. It's neutral, neutral. right? Yeah. Neutral. neutral. Yes. Suddenly, neutral. Neutral. It's neutral. Neutral. neutral too. Uh -huh. Okay. Surprisingly, positive. 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 Uh, unexpectedly, neutral. Neutral is similar to yeah, suddenly, right. right? Something that. And unfortunately, negative. 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 Okay, now listen to the first. Only listen to the pronunciation. I'm sorry, I I have a question with with this word. Mm -hmm. uh, suddenly, mm -hmm. uh, why is natural? Neutral. Neutral. Because it's something Why that is, uh -huh. something that yes. happens that you were not expecting, right? Can be something good, something bad. You know, for example, I was in the train station, and suddenly I saw a one hundred bill. It's good. What it, What is the meaning or, for the for the word? And if you say suddenly, uh, I was sitting at the at the train station, and suddenly, I my passport. It fell in the water, so that is negative. So then, uh, sometimes if I say suddenly, something that happens, right? So it's neutral, something that it could be unexpected. Is suddenly the meaning is something that happens and you were not expecting or waiting okay. for that to happen, right? Something that is okay. a, uh, uh -huh, exactly. So mm -hmm. that's why it's not really bad, right? Oh, okay. So then, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, thank you. Yes. Surprisingly, is neutral too, right? Because you can surprisingly give God something good or something bad. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Surprisingly, okay. yeah, surprisingly can be also. Oops. Wait. It can be also a neutral, right? Okay. Got it. Remember that some of them also. I always say that it has to do with the context and also with the connotation, right? So how we are going to use them. But listen to the pronunciation. Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately, which are negative and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally. Okay, coincidentally. Now this is a pronunciation, right? Coincidentally. 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 Fortunately. 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 Luckily. 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 Miraculously. 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 I'm sorry, what is the meaning of this word? Sadly. 
strangely, sadly, 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 strangely, 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 suddenly, 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 surprisingly, surprisingly. 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 Unexpectedly. 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 Unfortunately. 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 Now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral, we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. Okay, so here we have, uh, okay, uh, any questions before we continue? Julio, what is your question, Julio? Yes, but what is the meaning of... Miraculously. Oh, oh, miraculously. Uh-huh. Um, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. You know miracle? Miracle. Milagro. Miracle. Milagro. Uh -huh. Milagrosa. Exactly, right? Yeah. Miraculously. Okay. Yeah, miraculously. It's a miraculously, you know, everything changed. For example, you know, like uh, we were expecting more rain tonight. Yeah. But miraculously, the Cristobal, the Cristobal storm. No turn disappear and disappear, right? I mean, at least Miraculous at least in this area, right? At least in this area. Yeah, so was, Urbina had the, the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and like, miraculously, more, no, miraculously, Moises Urbina hit the nail. Hoy se le dio clavo, right? Hit the nail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, miraculously. Yes, miraculously, he did it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then if you see, for example, this, that's why, you know, to tell stories, we use these words and these expressions. You say, for example, uh, last night I was walking down the street when suddenly I heard a noise behind me. Mm -hmm. okay, I heard a noise behind me. I looked back and I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. I continue walking. <laughs> but while I was walking, Sounds again. I kept hearing <laughs> the noise. Okay. <laughs> okay, I kept hearing the same noise. Then when I stopped, the noise stopped. When I walked, the noise started. So then uh, I was very scared. And then I called my son. Okay, I call my son to come and pick me up in his car. While he was driving, while he was driving to where I was, I walked to the corner. When I got to the corner, I saw the light. In the light, I could see that, the, that my shoes okay, were making the noise because the soul was loose. Okay, la suela, la suela was loose. Okay. I watch this movie too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you see how you can create a story, right, about something, you know, you can <laughs> win while, suddenly, miraculously, <laughs> okay. Well, then you can say, for example, uh, uh, you know, my son came on time and then he gave me a ride home. But you can use all these words. So this is what, uh, what we're going to practice tomorrow, right? So then yeah. uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to have like probably 30 or 40 minutes of practice using, okay, the while, when, okay, the simple past and progressive and using uh, this adverbs here, right, in your story, okay, so we can use coincidentally, 
fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly. We're going to okay. mix. The yes. So how, you're going to use them? Yes, exactly. Okay, we're, going, we're going to, you know, to, to use them all together just for you to see how they work in real life, right? So think about, uh, like, you, like you were saying, uh, Eric, an anecdote or a story or something that happened to you. Okay, you can use your creativity, right? Like, like the lady says here at the end. Okay. So and then decided which ones were positive, negative, and neutral. We want you to complete the following statement with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences. Okay, using creative sentences. Okay, just uh, write some sentences about it. And then from those sentences that you create. How many? We, two. We can just use, one. Uh, if you want, you can use three, like this one. Uh, okay. Start Great. out normal day, then three sentences. And with those three okay. sentences, we can generate as a group more ideas, right? And then we can, we can uh, create a story or something. All right. Okay. Hey, teacher. Right. Okay. Right. All right. All right, people. So I guess for a Monday is enough for today. Okay. So I will see you tomorrow then at the same time. Have a good night and see you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Good see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.